Hey, this is our first detailed video on prepositions and today we are going to learn three different prepositions which are in, into and within. So without wasting much time, let's get started. And I will give you two bonus tips. So keep watching till end. So let's start with in and into. In and into both means that something is inside an area or enclosure. But there is a small twist and the twist is that in means that something is inside an enclosure whereas into shows the motion that something is going inside the thing. So let's cut the chase. In is basically used for all those objects which are inside an area whereas into shows the motion of something which is outside the area and it is going inside it. So all those objects which are showing this motion from outside to inside we use the preposition into with those. We will understand this with a small activity and today we have a special guest from our previous video with us. So let's meet her. So our guest for today is Rosette from our previous video. Remember her name? She might get hurt, you know. So now Rosette is standing on the verge of this pool or we can say brim of this glassware here. And she jumped into the pool. Now we have seen the movement that earlier she was outside the water but now she jumped inside that is why we have used the preposition into and now this rosette is swimming in the water why we have used in because now she is in water there is no movement from outside to inside we are using she is swimming in the water i hope you have got a little idea about it let's perform one more activity now i have this box and a ball with me and I threw a ball inside this box. So the preposition will be I threw a ball into the box because you can see the movement earlier the ball was in my hand and then I threw into the box and now the ball is in the box because it is inside this area or this enclosure. Now I will Take out this ball and I will again throw it into the box. So here you can see that what is the basic difference between in and into. That whenever a thing is inside an enclosure we say in. But if you can see a movement from outside to inside we use into. So we understood that in and into was forming relation of manner which was described in my previous video. If you somehow missed it, I will give the link in the description box or you can find it here. Similarly, we can make the sentences using in like I was in Paris last year or she was sitting in the garden when you are depicting a place. So it's time for the bonus tip number one and the tip is that we never use into with the verb enter. Why? Because we have just understood that into means from outside to inside. Similarly, what does enter mean? Enter also means that somebody is coming from outside to inside. He is entering. So we make a sentence like this. He looked nervous while entering the room. Then he was nervous while entering into the room. The second sentence is superfluous. Coming to the second part of the video and here we are going to understand the difference between in and within. Here we are going to form the relation of time. You must have heard these two sentences or I can say that you even have used these sentences. I'll be there in 10 minutes or I'll be there within 10 minutes. Now what is the difference? Confused? Oh, come on. The difference is that when you are using preposition in for time, you are denoting the time period which will exactly have 10 minutes. But whereas when we talk about within 10 minutes, it means you can reach before 10 minutes also. 
Similarly, we can make sentences like the painter will complete the painting in a week or the painter will complete the painting within a week. Now you can understand it well that when the painter is saying that he will complete the painting in a week means he is going to take a week, seven days. But when the painter has said that he will complete the painting within a week, he can complete the painting in three or four days also. What else? Where can we use in except then these two uses? So we can use in for identification purpose. For example, this is Rosette and she is wearing pink frock. And I will say that the doll in pink dress is mine. Now I have given the identification that she is wearing this pink dress and this is mine. So we usually use in for identification that the boy in white shirt is my brother. Other than that, we use in to tell that someone is working in which organization. For example, my father is a pilot in ABC Airlines. So now my father is working with this organization. So I will say that my father is a pilot in this particular airlines or my mother is a doctor in Dash Hospital. Let's recapitulate the whole session. The first thing we learned is the difference between in and into. We use in for things which are already inside something whereas into when there is a motion from outside to inside. Then we understood the difference between in and within while denoting time. So the difference is that in means the exact time period whereas within means it can take less time also. The third point we understood is that we use in for identification purposes and the last point that someone is a part of an organization. That's all about this session and I believe that you won't make any mistake while using these three prepositions. And now it's time for the bonus tip number two. So the question is that there is an image on your screen and you can see that there is a child and a pet. Now you have to fill in that he is or the child is sitting on the bed, in the bed, into the bed. I will give you 5 seconds to ponder over it and then answer. And the correct answer is the child is sitting in the bed. Oh no! I know that most of you have answered that the child is sitting on the bed. Let's understand this difference because this difference is going to stand you out of the crowd. So basically the difference between sitting in and sitting on is that when your body sinks in the object we use sitting in else we use sitting on. For example you are putting your shoes on and you are sitting on the corner of your bed then you are sitting on the bed but if you are sitting comfortably in your bed with the sheet over you then you are sitting in the bed similarly on a simple chair on a plastic or a wooden chair we sit on the chair but if there is an armchair then we use sitting in the chair because in that way we usually sink our body inside the surface I hope this difference is clear to you and it is going to be very interesting if you ask someone. I will see you in the next video with three more prepositions and with these kind of bonus tips for you. Bye for now. Keep watching.